Hey everybody. Today we are going to continue our study of data analysis with using stem and leaf plots. So um, just a review, we're going to take a quick look at um, our uh, slide presentation of um, talking about when we are going to make a stem and leaf plot from the data that we've got. And so um, just going back over again of how to organize a stem and leaf plot. You're gonna go through some steps like write the title and draw the leaf and draw and label the stem and leaf um, titles. Then you're going to take your data, figure out what goes in the stem side, figure out what you want to go on the leaf side. In order to do that, the very first thing you need to do though is to take your data and put it in a list from the least to the greatest. Then you can easily look at it and decide how you're going to put it in your stem and leaf plot chart. You also have to figure out what is my key going to be? What am I going to use for the key? Again, you put your things in order and then you're going to make a title. You're gonna draw the two columns, write your numbers um, in order, least to greatest, put, decide how you are doing your stem and leaf plot, decide your key, put the stems in, and then put the leaves in. I'm not showing you a math video today. You will see that map, math video in Pearson when you log in. Both the videos are there and you should watch both of them before you start your assignment. We're gonna make a stem and leaf plot together first though, before you go do that. So I'm gonna fix my screen so that you can see it. Get my marker and we're gonna make a stem and leaf plot. So I have up here um, some data. These are the numbers for pages read by students. And so the first step is to take these numbers and order the data from the least to the greatest. So as I am looking here at my data, I think 48 is my lowest. So I'm gonna put 48. And I'm gonna just kind of put a little check mark over it so I know I did it. Uh, 49. Hmm. Looks like 51 would come next. 53. Hmm. 54. And I'm gonna start another line. If I had a big whiteboard, I could put it all in one list, or if I was writing small on notebook paper. But for this, we're gonna to have to do two lines. After 54, 57, and then it goes to, hmm, looks like 62. And notice that 62 is there twice, and I'm going to write it twice. After 62, it looks like I have 64. And then onto these down here, I have 68. And then 71, 72 and 78. All right, so I have all of my data listed lowest to highest. And then here is like if it was on my notebook paper, 
and I'm going to make my stem and leaf plot. And the first thing is to give it a title, right? So this is Pages Red. And then I do stem and draw a line and leaf. You can also write leaves because it is more than one. This bottom line is where I'm going to reserve my key. So next I have to decide um, how I'm going to put the data in my stem and leaf plot. And because these are all two digit numbers, I'm going to do tens for the stems and the ones for the leaves. And so I'm looking here at my different stems that I would have, and I start with my lowest, so I definitely have to have a four here, and then five, six, and seven. So I've already kind of figured out what my stem and leaf is going to be. I've got my tens over here, and now I need to fill in my leaves. So I'm going to come up here, and my lowest is 48, so an 8 goes here, and then after it goes a 9. Under the ones that have 5 in the tens place, I have a 1, a 3, a four, I like commas, a seven, and no more. Then I get to this, the 60s, and I have two twos, so I have to write them both. A two and another two. Four and eight. And then I'm in my 70s, so I have a 1, a 2, and 8. And now I need to make my key, so I'm going to write key. My key is, and you can just pick one of the numbers that you already have up here. I'm going to start with my lowest number. My key is 4, line, 8, so stem and leaf, equals 48. Now from my stem and leaf plot, I could answer um, a lot of different questions, like how many uh, students read 62 pages? Well, I could come over here and go, oh, 62, and it's there twice. Two. Two. How many, what was the most Number of pages read? Oh, 78. So I can get a lot of different types of information from having a stem and leaf plot. All right, so today please go to Pearson Math and log in, watch the two videos, and work on your quick check. Yeah.